Hello, welcome back to Bard's Tale 3. This is Jay Rodman, um, playing through the world, world or dimension of Kinestia. Oh, and we have some totally irrelevant content on the screen. I was watching someone else playing through a completely unrelated game. Well, I mean, I guess it's also an RPG, so genre relation, but none, none more than that. Um, okay, so here, here's the overall picture of the barracks. Uh, let's zoom a little bit in a little more to where we are. This is the in-game auto map. And here's the region we have mostly left to explore. I'm hoping there'll be something interesting down there. But I don't know. Or don't remember, perhaps, would be one way to say it. Since, uh, as I may have mentioned before, or I know I've mentioned before, I have played through this game at least, I think, once to the end. So remember some things and not others. Well, I thought I was going to kick a wall and I opened a door. And we could sense a spinner to the south. Presumably it's here-ish? Because... Whoa! Mr. Mac, that is not helpful. Every time I get a new <laughs> Mac, I have to very slowly um, figure out how to make it stop doing things that I don't ever find useful and trigger by accident. It's like Super Mario Brothers for the workplace. Okay, um, looking east here, I do wonder how we get into this two-square thing. Maybe I didn't mark some things correctly, because it was darkness. Oh, and I moved accidentally. That's great. Um, door here. Let me check the auto map. Does the auto map know about doors? Oh, we never looked at the east side. I don't know how I... Uh, well, auto map never saw the east side. Sometimes you can um, see things it didn't. I probably looked in from the edge and saw there was some kind of wall. Anyway, um, I'm going to go in there. It seems tempting. And Oh, well, nothing was in there. No big deal. But we got to fight. Fight against Metal Maniacs and Mech Mashers. I don't really think I know what Metal Maniacs are. So I'm going to Master Wand them. I guess I want to attack the mech mashers. Because... Um... I already have spells stacked up on the Metal Maniacs. Also, I kind of want to find out what the Metal Maniacs do. They stab. They stab for 60 with a 100 damage. Okay. It's not friendly, but it's not particularly dangerous compared to other enemies around here. I've made an effort to reposition the microphone on this headset so that I don't pick up nearly as much breathing noise. I was really struggling with that, how to like editing it out and using different headsets. We'll see if this works out better. Uh, 
Okay, uh, let's go in this... This little door to the east. Can we see south? Okay, we're standing on some sort of something. Oh no, there was just a fight loading. Who knows whether we were standing on it or not. So it seems like some of these enemies give me a stealing from her message. Um, I'm afraid it means they're taking my inventory items. But I don't really know. Um, and if they stole a harmonic gem and then I got it back at the end of the combat, I don't think there's any way I would really reliably know. So, I don't know. I guess it's... I guess I have to worry... I don't know. Like, Could I lose quest items that way? I certainly hope the game doesn't let me do that. But the design of this game is such that most quest items, if you don't have them, you can just pick them up again. Spinner to the west. This is also a quiet spot. And because I couldn't detect the spinner from here, it is here. Jump the gun with uh, restarting my bard song. Okay, so the spinner is only here. Seems like another fight. So those silver droids, they do potentially 200 damage in a round. That seems a little over the top. Since like, for example, my rogue has 300 hit points, so... And they come in groups of like 11, so 11 start out right in front of you. Potentially, that could be on the order of 2,200 hit points of damage to someone. Just seems like a little much. Oh, and look, I have been neglecting to put walls along the western edge of this area. Oh, I got that slightly wrong. There we go. Another slightly empty... <clears throat> another slightly empty room. Um, I can detect the quiet. 
That doesn't say darkness. So I think that my light spell just serendipitously ran out. I'm gonna run away. Oh, it is darkness. It just... The <laughs> fight overrode the darkness. Okay, well, what if I go north? Is there darkness here? Don't think so. Oh, I just moved the game just very slightly to the left. Oh no. Maybe I moved it back. Steadily inching my way up the experience point tables. I don't really know when I'm going to level up though, so I don't know when to stop exploring. Oh, I just spotted a hunter's cloak in my inventory. If things are going to be stealing stuff out of my inventory, it almost makes me want to carry around junk. So they steal things I don't care about. But not... doesn't make me kind of want to do it quite enough to put up with having junk in my inventory. Hmm. I thought for sure we'd be standing on one of the somethings by now. So like if I... Okay, so the first detection point... Yeah, the first detection point is from right here, so we should be standing on one of them right now. I'm gonna speed up the game and watch my hit point, my spell point rebuild. Four points! Yeah, definitely spell point regen. And probably here too. Yep. I'm not sure if this is like... I guess... I don't know. So why did I get four spell points back? I expect to get one from a staff and one from an equipped item. Maybe the equipped item gives two. Something like that. I'll have to check how much I'm regenerating when I get out of here. It could also be that these are simply stronger spell point regens. Okay, we're standing out here. I'm at 159. And 162. Yeah, so the figurines, I'm thinking, give me two spell points per tick. Which is, um... Stronger than the regen staves. Okay, so the edge of this area is actually right on this line. Okay. Um, I don't know how to conveniently mark that, or I have some ideas, but I'm not motivated. It doesn't seem like a good time payoff reward. But I am here, and I have been forgetting to mark these darkness spaces. Everything fell off at once. So, from here, the the walls to the north and south are solid. From here I expect the wall to the north to be solid, not so much to the south. In fact, I think we found ourselves in a little cubby. Huh, an hourglass. Hmm. Is that like a freeze foes kind of item? Hmm. 
Why do I have these canteens? I... I don't know. If I'm getting it in this world, I'm thinking I'm gonna need one. But if it's... left over... from Lucencia, then it's probably crap. Does Griselda have the hourglass? She does. Two charges. I guess I'll try it on someone. Spinner near, something ahead. Okay. Back into the darkness. And one east that already move east? No. One east. And the darkness messages have ended. I didn't take very careful note of the corridor there. I'll get it when on the uh, return trip, I guess. I do not want a kinetic kid in my party. Huh, how come I can detect a spinner from here? Uh oh, I just complete I, I was trying to turn around and I I uh I covered up a message there. Let me see if I can get it again. Hidden away in a corner of this room is a strange key. Judging by the oddly shaped handle, it looks like you could turn... You could use your right hand to turn it. Okay, that seems like... something important to the completion of this dimension. Who's got space? I just cleared out space, my fighter, so Chris Knock, I guess, will carry it. I'm curious, can I get it again? No. Yeah, the game said the game can figure out that you have the right key in your inventory and changes its behavior accordingly. You have the item in your inventory, really, is what I mean. Huh. So there's a spinner somewhere in this in this nonsense. I bet the game put it he here. Wait, let me go back. Okay, I can detect it from here, and from here. So... Yes, they put it in the evil location so that you would be turned and confused and... You know how they think. I am so glad I have a no-spin ring. I think the last time I played this game to completion, I didn't get the no-spin ring until, like, I don't know, the fifth world or so. Yep, I can detect the quiet zone I already know about. I'm pretty sure I've already gotten whatever I need from the barracks by collecting that key, but doesn't hurt to finish exploring it. Okay, what's what's left? What's left to find in the barracks? There's this little um this little hallway with doors on all sides. I think that might be it. Okay. So heading on up there through a corridor of darkness through the spinner. Which was basically like this. Through some... Oh, back to the hit point drain. 
And here's our special little unexplored corridor, which also is full of darkness. I mean, I don't know that it's full, uh, but I'm gonna bet it. So, bet it is. And find out if I'm wrong. Hmm. Things to kill. Okay, so I've, uh, done everything I can with the blood mesh robe, and I'm pretty sure it's just a worse piece of armor than the, um, armlets I have or already have. So I'm dropping it. Seems like darkness all the way. I just went here, and then over here, and now I'm fighting for head dicers. This looks short enough, I'm probably just gonna keep it on camera. That fatal fist, at this point in the game, is pretty effective. As long as they don't resist it, they pretty much go down. A swindler? So I guess I should say that's the end of this um, particular session, because I finished the barracks and clearly gotten whatever is the um, sort of quest relevant item, and my next step is going to be to head east. Oh, I'm hit by crushing walls. Excellent. Because all the traps come back, right? So, like, these traps that I cleared when I leave the area, they come back. Um, anyway, so I'm going to go into this passageway and see what it is. We're in private court, which I assume means private quarters. I have no idea what that little dropout sound dropout was. And this is um kind of a tall and skinny region over here on the east side. And I'm going to start mapping it in the next session. See you then.